In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can use the camera feature in Excel to take a live screenshot of your data that can be used in other parts of Excel. So, to do this, first you want to add the camera feature in your Excel. To do this, you want to, want to go to the Quick Access Toolbar at the top and click this down arrow to customize it. Then scroll down and then click More Commands right there. You want to not do want to do pop-up commands, but you want to to click on all commands. And after it loads, you're going to scroll down. It's alphabetically ordered, so scroll down over to the C's. I already have it right here, but you're going to see camera, and you can want to click add. And then click OK. Now, to use the camera feature, you first want to hide the data that you want to kind of take a live screenshot of. So let's say one of the names and totals, for example. First, we get the names, we highlight the names, and then we tap the camera icon. As you can see, it kind of looks like it is copied right there. Then to put it where we want to um, drop it, we just go where we want to have the slide screenshot placed and just click. As you can see, now we have the names. Then to get the total, we can go hide the data again, click on camera, and then click on total or where we want to place it. And there you have it. Now we're thinking, um, why would we want to do a camera the type screenshot as opposed to just simply wherever it's in the cells? Well, one of the reasons why is because it can make it, you know, this is something that you can't really edit. So if you don't want someone messing with the formulas or you don't want somebody messing with the sheet, you can have this live screenshot placed, and it's cool because it updates with what you're doing. Let's so just say we change this 12 to 120. The, the screenshot, as you see, updated to 82 as well. So you can have kind of the live view of what you're working on without having the risk of somebody messing up what they're working at. And it's just a one and two format. This is a bit, so we can click on it. Click picture format. And here you can kind of edit it in some of the ways that we don't remove picture. So I just say I wanted to remove the border. You do picture border, then click an outline. As you can see, oh, there's an outline. And again, the other one, picture border, no outline. And you can also, for example, crop it, change the size, send it forward, bring it backwards. Um, pretty much a lot of the different features that you might want to use whenever you're editing a picture in Excel. So that's it. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.